Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123. This is going to be a bookish themed video so hello to all my fellow bookworm buddies out there. Now I have done a video similar to this before but not for some time so I thought I would do it in today's video. It's called Last Current next so basically i'm going to be talking about the book that i finished reading last the book i'm currently reading and the book i'm gonna read next and yes i do plan ahead i always plan ahead what my next book's gonna be pretty much does anyone else do that i don't know is it just me or I don't know. uh anyhow now i will apologize if i sniff or rub my nose my hay fever has started already it's really annoying and that's that okay so <laughs> the first book I'm going to show you is The Last. So this is the book I literally just finished reading the other day and it's called The Ugly Truth and it's by L.C. North. Now this book was so, so good. I give it five stars on Goodreads and, you know, I'm, I'm not easy at giving out five stars on the reviews, but honestly this one was worth those five stars because it is just brilliant it's so good it's told in a kind of mixed media format which i really enjoy um it's just i don't know it feels so real and so alive and like it's happening now and you're like in it and it's just a great way of reading a story it's very different and i like it um so this says everyone's telling a different story who do you believe so this is like yeah a kind of uh thriller i would say it's a thriller to me it's kind of like family drama thriller kind of thing i don't know uh so it says melanie lang now it's either lang or lang i'll say lang l-a-n-g-e hmm. melanie lang has disappeared her father sir peter lang says she is a danger to herself and has been admitted to a private mental health clinic her ex-husband finn and best friend nell say she has been kidnapped uh the media will say whatever gets them the most views but whose side are you on so either hashtag save Melanie or hashtag help Peter. Um, it says here, there's a quote from Fiona Cummins, who's an amazing author as well. He says, a brilliantly constructed and compelling glimpse into the darkest reaches of celebrity. Highly recommended. Um, yes, and I highly recommend it as well. <laughs> Mix Laura, one, two, three from Essex, YouTuber. I, I do recommend it because it's so good. It's really good. And it, it just feels so real. Um and as i was reading it i was just i was so hooked as i say i could not put it down um you know if i'm not into a book that i'm reading i do end up kind of getting distracted i'll go on my phone or like watch tv but if i'm into a book fully and it's got my attention then i'm just like i can't put it down but this yeah it was just really good and it really you know it kind of um I kind of hit home a little bit with me as well, especially with the whole kind of social media thing and 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 the the you know the stress that social media can do. And like reading about the media, obviously knowing of various celebrities over the years who have been completely hounded, um, you know, by the media and stuff. And yeah, it was very it was an emotional book, but it was also really kind of exciting, thrilling. And for a long time, like I think I got over halfway and I still didn't know whose side I was on. The dad. You know, was he the caring father who was just a little bit overbearing and a bit over caring or was he a bad person <laughs> or, you know, the main character, Melanie, like, you know, was she lying or I, I don't know. I, I didn't know, which was great. I would have think you know, I would have thought it was really boring from the beginning if I'd have kind of known who I was supporting. But the fact that I got over halfway, as I say, and I still didn't know, um, you know, like who, who I was kind of sticking up for whose team I was on was great because it got it got me guessing it got me hooked and I just wanted to know more um I won't give any spoilers but I will say the end of the book made me very emotional I re I didn't see it coming I really didn't expect it and yeah I was I was very emotional at the end of this book it's really it's really good it's really really good um there's some quotes on the back here. It says, uh, hashtag free Britney meets the appeal in this addictively unique thriller. Um, a, as compulsive as clickbait. <laughs> I love that. A total ripped from the headlines treat. Uh, yeah, it does feel, uh, as I say, this is about a real celebrity. And, and you know, it feels real. Um, very totally fresh and very clever. Riveting, thought-provoking, heartbreaking in equal measure. Honestly, it's so good. Honestly, check it out. It's amazing. And as I say, I gave this book a five stars review on Goodreads. Right, so that's my last book. My current book, sorry, I've got really itchy nose. My hay fever makes my nose really itchy. This is very embarrassing. There we go. Um, so my current book is in here. 
Um, I actually left the dust jacket downstairs, so it is what it is. But yes, this is my book sleeve, and I love it. I got it on uh, eBay. Originally, it was from the Illumicrate box, which I do get. It's a monthly book theme subscription box called Illumicrate, and I do unboxing videos on here all the time when I get the boxes, obviously, <laughs> not just randomly. Um, but this this kind of come out in the box before I signed up to the subscription thing. So, um, but I used to watch people do their unboxing videos and I'd seen this and I was like, oh my God, I need this. And it's lovely. It feels very comfortable to hold as you're, you're holding the book. And it looks cool. It's from uh, Shadow Hunters, Cassandra Clare's um, Mortal Instrument series. So I love it. Anyhow, so yeah, the, the dust jacket is downstairs the dust jacket is really cool and creepy it's got like a, a kind of gothic ghost story kind of vibe you know to the aesthetic and there's like a big candle on it uh, anyway but yeah it's in here for now so the book is called the toll house Ooh. um also i'm very silly because on the dust jacket is the blurb about the story and stuff and i haven't got that so i'm just going to kind of quickly tell you my version of what you know i think this story is about um page wise i am just about to start chapter five uh so that's page 38 so i literally only started this last night and i, I would have loved to have read longer to be fair but i was so tired that i just i just couldn't um so basically it's about this lady now i'm gonna have to look here sorry hold on Kelda that's it um Kelda and her son Dylan moved to this kind of in the middle of the nowhere in the middle of nowhere old kind of toll house and she's had a breakup and I don't really know exactly what's happened yet obviously as the story goes on I assume you'll find out but something's happened and she just wanted to get away start afresh in the middle of literally nowhere so she gets there it's cheap these spooky houses are always cheap you get them at great price when they're spooky and haunted but uh yeah so she gets this house and it's kind of a bit like you know a bit a bit bad looking um but yeah she moves in and basically they find i've literally just got to this bit they find in this wall they find a an old death mask which is creepy in itself, the thought of that. So, yeah, things start to happen. I think um, the boy Dylan starts to see, um, like, ghosts and stuff in his room and starts having really bad, like, freaky, horrible nightmares and stuff. Um, and also this book, I mean, some of it's set kind of current with um, the mum and the son, but then alternate chapters, you're going back in time, which I really liked, actually. Um, what year was it? Hold on, sorry, I'm having to go back. Oh, yeah, 1863. So, yeah, obviously, as I'm going to go along the book, I assume that it's going to be kind of past, present, past, present. And I, I really enjoy that because then it all kind of comes together nicely at the end, hopefully. But, yeah, it's uh, it's it's creepy. It's scary. And I'm really enjoying it. It's one of these kind of classic ghost stories, you know, like the haunted house and the child seeing spooky things and then spooky things start happening to said child and all that. But I love a good horror. I love a good spooky story. And I, I'm not one of these people who only read like horror in October. Like I read spooky stories all year round. So yeah, The Toll House. Oh, and this is by, sorry, I should have said, uh, Carly Regan or Reagan. I don't know. But yeah, Regan, I would say that. But yeah, The Toll House. But um, that is my current read so after that i thought i've had a kind of thriller book um and then obviously i've got the horror so i wanted something a little bit different afterwards so i looked at my library books that i've got out um i've got like four or five out at the moment which is really naughty because i own books that i haven't read and then i go to the library and then get more books <laughs> but it is what it is I, I look i love going to the library and when i'm there i'm gonna be tempted by the books that are there um but yeah this one uh, it's supposed to be really, really good, and it's by Simon James Green, and it's called A Boy Like Me. So this is a YA, and uh, it's literally just come out. I'm very lucky in the fact that our local library um, do get a lot of their, like, brand new books. Like, literally, some books that I see in Waterstones in there literally just come in, new books section, are in the library that same day or the next day. Like, it's, it's brilliant. And I'm very fortunate because I know a lot of the libraries around the country don't have that. But because our library is such a big library, and it's also part of the university here in Southend, um, I don't know, they just seem to get so many more new, new books. It's great. It saves me money as well, because, you know, buying books ain't, ain't cheap. <laughs> but anyway, so yeah, A Boy Like Me. This says, a love story that begins in the margins. So it's set in 1994 in May um, at Market 
we sorry, I haven't got my glasses on, that's stupid, isn't it? May 1994, Market Wickby Secondary School, Lincolnshire, UK. In the library, someone is committing a crime. Hmm. Uh, there's a novel hidden there about two boys falling in love. In this time and place, a book like that is illegal. When James Hampton reads the novel, he recognises his own suppressed feelings. Then he, see, then he sees messages scrawled in the margins. Someone is reaching out. Who wrote the messages and should Jamie write back? That's just the start of the story. And for Jamie, it's the start of everything. So, yeah, I, I really uh, like the sound of this book. And, um, yeah, I, I like the idea that's like you know, it's this secret book and someone's writing, you know, messages in it and then the other one's writing, you know, I just find it really interesting. And obviously, you know, dealing with LGBTQI plus theme, um, rep is always good. And yeah, I think it sounds really interesting. And um, I know it's going to be quite emotional as well. Like obviously, he's, you know, got to kind of suppress his feelings and then, but hopefully by the end of the book, he'll be, you know, happier and, and open and stuff but yeah so originally this guy this author he's done gay club and heartbreak boys i didn't like gay club i'll be honest with you i wasn't that keen on that i thought it was a little bit silly and a bit cringe and i've not read heartbreak boys so i can't comment on that but this sound, this one sounds very different it doesn't sound like like um gay club is quite fun and silly this one sounds a little bit more serious and emotional so we'll see um but yeah that is going to be my next read Okay, so once again, to remind you, my last book was The Ugly Truth by L.C. North. Um, my current book is in here, <laughs> and that was by Carly Regan, The Toll House. And my next book that I'm planning on reading is Boy Like Me by Simon James Green. Okie dokie. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Let me know in the comments section down below uh, what was your last book that you read, what's your current read, and what book uh, you know, are you planning reading next? Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget my other channel is Minx Laura 123 ASMR. The link is down below. So if you want a video to help you relax, sleep, chill, get tingles, 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 uh, check out Minx Laura 123 ASMR. Uh, also, don't forget uh, my social media links down below for Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Goodreads if you're a bookworm. And I do have a throne wish list if you care to spoil me or treat me, please do. <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching everyone. Take care and happy reading.